Hello and welcome back to Bertram Fiddle, a bleaker predicament. This is Jeff from Final Boss Fight, and as you can see, we have returned to London. We've escaped from Richard Lee Hall, we defeated the evil monster in Richard Lee Hall, and we made our escape on an inflatable dolphin in a bathtub with a bicycle pedal mechanism and a um, propeller. Anyway, we're back in London, and we've managed to clear our name with Sherlock Holmes. He no longer believes we're Jeff the Murderer. Now we've got to find the real Jeff the Murderer. So let's investigate where we are. Got some shop over here. What's this? An exotic curiosity shop. Perhaps answers to what we seek lie within. It has been a fruitless search so far. Okay, secu uh, exotic curiosity shop. What's over here? Dr. Jekyll's surgery. Ooh, Dr. Jekyll. I'm going to start by going into the curiosity shop. Let's see what's in there. Hello there. Oh, an exotic emporium. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Let's see what we've got. We've got a number of things. I'm going from left to from right to left. Let's see what this is. Is this real? Everything is real and for sale. What about this? You do have a lot of interesting artifacts. Are you going to buy or just keep poking everything? I'm going to keep poking everything. What's this thing? The Bogwai ain't for sale. Not for any price. Oh, good. <laughs> I never have any money. Oh, what matter of exotic food is this? This is jellied eel. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Um, what's this? A book on learning martial arts immediately. Ha! <laughs> ah, I know Kung Fu. What this? Is that a Matrix reference? Want some tea? I would have some tea. Good gravy. That's strong stuff. <laughs> Mum's special recipe. I can hear the grass grow. And this thing? What is that, sir? A lemon tree, my dear Gavin. <laughs> the fruit is insignificant. We have a saying in Peru. The bigger the lemon, the sharper the juice. A lemon tree, my dear Gavin. That's funny. Let's talk to the guy. Hello, wise sir. I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. And I am in pursuit of London's most elusive <laughs> serial killer, Jeff the Murderer. I'm Bob. Uh, this is my shop. Go ahead, mister. Look around. I'll be with you in a minute. I need to get this box open. Oh, is that <laughs> an infamous Chinese bamboozle box? Bamboozle Only box. after years of mindful self-discipline will one reach the levels of concentration needed to open it. Nah, it's my lunchbox. The lid is stuck. <laughs> okay, not going to get anything more from here right now, I fear. So let's leave this place and try Dr. Jekyll's surgery. Nobody appears to be home. Take a seat. Oh, not now. <laughs> Well, that doesn't sound good. I should never have run out of magnesium! Dr. Jekyll, are you alright? Please go! I need the anti-potion! Well, that sounded fun. What else have we got in here? Ooh, biscuits. Ooh, a current bun! I'll have that. Tea! Free refreshments for patients. Feeling slightly under the weather. Um, papers here. Book on hypnotization. How to mass mesmerize everyone by Marvo the Hypno Cat. <laughs> What's over here? Chemistry set. Okay, what's this? Potions. Various potions. Transmogrification remedy.
An empty pot of magnesium powder. I think we might need to get some of that. Oh, this looks interesting though. Okay, at least we know what they what is here, so if we need to we can come back. What's this? That must be the um that must be the bottle where the potion comes out. Very well, we know that's there. Let's try going into here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. hello there, who are you? He has a face like a rabid beaver. <laughs> potion! I need the anti potion. <laughs> snarf, snarf. <laughs> you seem most discombobulated. Can I help? Is that a Dalek there? It looks like a Dalek there. There's not a whole lot around. What's up here? A suspiciously blood encrusted hatchway. Guess not getting that way then. Can Gavin open it? Mm, would not work, sir. Okay, let's go back upstairs. So we need to find some magnesium. That's one thing we need to do. Uh, other places to go. What's this way? We can't get in there at all, can we? It looks like the door's open, but we can't get in there. Oh, wow. Okay, what have we got? We've got Let's start with this person. Hello, sir. I'm looking for a snitcher. Do you perhaps know of such a fellow? Why I'm sure I haven't the foggiest idea of what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm a most highly respected gentleman. A gentleman of my standing does not associate with vagabonds. Why are you here then? Got a mangle here? What's this for? A mangle for squeezing things out. Ooh, just for laughs. Ooh, nice buns. Okay. Hello, madam. I'm looking for someone who may know Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I'm trying to find the whereabouts of Jeff the murderer. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? We've got an achievement for it. Won't complain about that. Let's go to this guy. What do you want? Do you perchance know Mr. Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Super Bones? Never heard <laughs> I'm looking for someone who resembles a bulldog sucking a lemon. I don't know what you're on about. What's this thing here? Look at the disgruntled countenance of this bulldog. It resembles everyone in this alley. <laughs> it does actually, doesn't it? What about this guy? Can I help you? I'm seeking someone who goes by the name of Snitcher. Snitcher? Never heard of him. What does this Snitcher look like? Uh, apparently like a bulldog chewing a lemon. Oh, charming. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. But if I do see this Snitcher, I'll let him know you're looking for him. Okay. That ends our explorations in this area. He's right though, they do all have a similar face. Um, let's go this way. We can't go that way. Why can't we go that way? Uh, we can go this way though. The freak <laughs> Quiet. Okay, let's see. Let's start with this guy. Don't touch my camera. I mustn't spill any of this powder or the flash won't work. Your magnesium is the finest Ooh. you can get. Careful, this magnesium's very hard to find. I think we found out where we get our magnesium from. But this. Goodness, look at the size of that ape. A most majestic creature. Majestic? 
Miserable, more like. I'm trying to take a photomograph for the evening bubble, but no matter what I do, he won't smile. <laughs> Ooh, looks like he's out. You look like he is in pain, sir. That is not a happy monkey. The Incredible Mantis Man. What's this? Wonderment. See Gladys. What's this? Gladys, maiden of the sea, most corpulent mermaid ever. It's a seal in a wig. <laughs> the world's hairiest egg. It's a coconut. Oh, this is the um, cat we saw the poster for. Marlo's incredibly manipulative mesmerism tent, where he performs all of his hypnotisms. He's not in. <laughs> Oh, sack clown. Free hugs. Oh. No, thank you. I'd rather not. I don't do hugs. Oh, I feel sorry for him. What's in here? Ah, more freaky showies. Okay, so. Talk to this guy. Joanna von Grimm, the nightingale of dreary lane. Oh. I'm a very big fan. Bertram Fiddle, at your service. Bertram Fiddle. That name sounds familiar. I think Algernon may have mentioned you. Do you, perchance, work at the soap factory? I do, uh, but it is merely a temporary <laughs> position. I am more of a classically trained adventurer. Ah, yes, I recall now. He told me how awful you were at your job. And he was only <laughs> keeping you in employment because he knew you needed the money. He is oh, a dear. very sweet and kind man. Perhaps too kind. Do you know Mr. Dalsworth well then? We were going to run away and be together forever. But Marvo found out and locked me up because he wants to get his tiny, filthy paws on the deeds to the soap factory. I am little more than a singing canary to him. <laughs> Take this locket. Maybe it will help somehow. Free item. I'm not complaining about that. What's this thing? This is like a rubber band. Don't touch my juggling thing. Marvo says if I put this, I could be famous. He's going to give me the freak show once his evil plan has worked. I shan't let you touch my juggling ring. Sorry. Marvo says one day I will run a freak show. He's a very nice cat. He often gives me current puns. Ah. Shut your twunk, you silly man. He is too witless to remember all the bad things Marvo has done to him. Do you like current puns? I do so love a good current pun. I'm afraid I've forgotten what you, we were talking about. Okay. Um, I think I have a customer for the current bun. What's this? An accumulation of hypnosent. Don't touch those. Mother needs those for his evil plan. That sounds ominous. Let's... Here, have a current bun. Here you go, sir. A lovely current bun. Oh, my favourite. How did you know? Hmm. <laughs> Hello, do I know you? I have a terrible memory. Well, you know what they say. An elephant never... Uh, forgets? Forgets what? Okay. Hmm. Not convinced by that. I appear to have lost my current bun. Hopefully I can get another one. It was... in here. No, my current bun is gone. What's this? Yeah. Oh, we're just able to get to there another way, I guess. Let's start by going down here. And that's the truth. Hmm. <laughs> Don't touch my camera. I mustn't spill any of this powder or the flash won't work. Pure magnesium is the finest you can get. Careful, this magnesium's very hard to find. Okay. A few things we need to do here. 
wouldn't mind getting down there, but I'm not quite sure how. No, it's not going in there. Can we go into here? No, we can't. Oh, wait. Lemons need to be bigger. I remember that. That means that we need an embiggening potion from here, I guess. Let's try it. Cold yellow, hot green, hot green. Right. Green, hot green. We have an embiggening potion. That's how that works. That's easy enough. Let's use our potion on the lemons. Hey! Oh my! Look at the size of them now. They're massive. Thank you for your lemon aid. Take one. Lemon you aid. To. Hey, I have a lemon. Not quite sure what I need to do with it, but I have a lemon. What else have we got in this potions list? Not worth talking to this guy again. He has a face like a rabid beaver. Don't think so. Potion. I need the anti potion. <laughs> snuff, snuff. You seem most discombobulated. Can I help? Mm -hmm. Okay, back up we go. Let's have another look at this list. It's possible that you might have to use all of these potions. So let's see what else we've got. We've got grab it Cranius Shrinkation Potion. Let's see if we can make all of these at least. Cold green, cold red. Which gives us Okay. We also have cold yellow, hot green, hot red, hot yellow. Is it cold yellow? Hot green, hot red, hot yellow. Hot green, hot red, hot yellow. Um, hot yellow, hot yellow, cold red, cold green. Go. I think that's all the potions. And so I just make another end beginning potion just to be sure. Let's do that. There we go. So we've got four potions there. So let's see what these potions do. Grabulation. This is. Phaseum vegetabilis, cranius shrinkation, and embiggening. Okay. Let's start feeding this guy potions, shall we? His task needs extractification. Yes, not. Oh, inside here. This is the cranium one, I think. I must be careful with this. I don't want to spill any. What about? I must. Nope. Uh, 
But this one. I must. An accumulation of hidden treasure. Okay, can I put anything into this? Uh, an accumulation of treasure. Guessing not. So I've got myself a lemon. Worth giving it to this guy. Can I interest you in a lemon? Guess not. Let's try over this way. Oh! I'm an idiot! <laughs> I am an idiot. Bulldog sucking a lemon. There's your lemon. There's your bulldog. Dogs don't eat lemons. What about to you? I can never tell a lime. Okay. A lemon? That won't help my circumstances. Nope. Hey. What's this? A lemon? What do I want a lemon for? It's got to be this. It look thirsty. Its bowl is empty. All right, so let's try and put it through the mangle. That can extract juice from anything we've said. Oh, awesome. Yes. Let's try this then. Bulldog sucking at lemon. Hello there, Snitcher. It's you! You are Sherlock Snitcher! Escape it down. <laughs> I don't want everyone to know. I shan't tell. If you provide me with the information I seek, I'm looking for the dastardly villain known as Jeff the Murderer. Know of his wherever abouts. I happen to know Jeff spends his evenings playing cards in the victim's end. You won't find a more wretched pub full of villainy and scum <laughs> there and under the bridge. But don't mention my name or I'm done for. Never fear, your secret is safe with me, Mr. Snitcher. Very well, let's go that way. This must be the other location I couldn't get to before. 